Hello folks, welcome to our new series focusing on all the thoughts going on in your mind regarding the placements. Videos in this series bring the solution to all necessary questions faced by a candidate who is sitting for a job interview. So stay tuned for all the fresh content with me, Perry Kumar. We have been doing negotiations from the very beginning of our lives, isn't it? In many different forms and ways. But this word never strike in our mind. Do you know why? Because we didn't use this word negotiation as it was never done formally. And maybe this is the reason why we are scared. The moment the interviewer asks, what is your salary expectation? Our mind is filled with multiple thoughts. Now majority candidates would not say anything because they were not prepared. Yes, because they never questioned themselves about their worth in the market. I have seen people from the best institutions, skilled, professionals and still having no clue about their worth in the market. So guys, today's video is all about knowing your worth in the industry and learning how to negotiate this with the employer. Number one, be clear with all the odds which can make things go bad for you during this conversation of negotiation. Pick out all the reasons where you feel that you can lose this battle so that you are prepared for that uncertain moment. Think about all the possible questions the interviewer can put across to keep answers ready in advance. Number two, know your minimum acceptable number. Say 100 is offered to you, but you were expecting 100 plus X. Now out of fear and hesitation, you were not able to put it across to the employer. So in order to eliminate this fear and hesitation, you need to be well aware about the current salary being offered for similar roles matching your skills and expertise. If you have done your research right, you would be able to come up with a justified figure. Number three, everything is negotiable. Yes, you heard it right. Everything in your package is negotiable. Salary bonus, holidays, childcare, schooling, relocation allowance, house search, convents, house rent, allowance, etc. There are chances that the employer might not agree on the figure you quoted. Like we discussed in the previous example, suppose 100 was offered to you and you asked for 125. Now in this case, you can say that the difference of 25 could be made a variable element in the package which can be based on your performance. That means if you perform well, you can get this in the form of incentive and this is a win-win position for both of you. Number four, use in-hand additional offer letters. So if you're lucky enough and you get an offer from some other company, do not miss this opportunity to get a raise. You can very politely talk about this offer and if it is feasible for the company, the employer will surely take this into consideration. You must never sound rude as this would give a bad impression on the employer. Now comes the most important of all, when to negotiate. Try, if possible, to get the salary negotiation rounds to be scheduled between Wednesday and Friday. I think we all know the reason here. So based upon my experience, it's always better to stay away from Monday blues. As close the weekend gets, the chances of getting things in your favor increases, given that you follow the right track. So all the very best. We hope that the job you have been dreaming about knocks on your door very soon. Don't forget to drop your comment after you get on board. Hit the like button, show us your love and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest content to land on the right job in the least time. Thank you. Bye-bye.